Mastering conversational phrases. Scream someone down. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase that you might hear in debates, arguments, or intense discussions. It's scream someone down. Understanding this phrase will not only enhance your vocabulary but also improve your comprehension of nuanced English conversations. So, let's get started. Scream someone down is a phrase that combines vivid imagery with a specific action. To scream means to shout or yell loudly, often driven by strong emotions like anger, frustration, or fear. The word down in this context doesn't refer to a physical direction but rather to an outcome or effect. Therefore, when you scream someone down, you're using your loud voice to overpower, silence, or dominate the other person in a discussion or argument. It's not just about being loud. It's about using volume as a tool to suppress someone else's voice or opinion. To fully grasp this phrase, let's look at some examples. 1. In a debate. Imagine a public debate where one speaker tries to make their point, but the opponent interrupts and overpowers them by yelling, effectively preventing them from finishing their argument. This is screaming someone down. 2. Social situations. In a group discussion, if someone feels their opinion is being ignored, they might raise their voice to dominate the conversation. If their loudness prevents others from speaking, they're effectively screaming them down. 3. Online and media discussions. This phrase can also apply metaphorically to online forums or media debates where one party overwhelms another, not with volume but with a barrage of messages or comments, silencing the other's perspective. Using the phrase, scream someone down, or engaging in this behavior has several implications. It often reflects poorly on the person doing the screaming, suggesting they might lack the patience, respect, or logical arguments to engage in a constructive dialogue. It's important to recognize this behavior and understand its negative impact on communication and relationships. And that wraps up our exploration of the phrase, scream someone down. We hope this video has given you a clear understanding of its meaning, usage, and implications in everyday English. Remember, effective communication is about listening just as much as it is about speaking. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to bringing you more insightful content. Stay curious, and keep learning!